guys and welcome back to my channel so we are on day 14 of my workout with me series one and today we have an up routine to do so before we start please make sure that you warm up and you stretch so you're not in any so your muscles can move to their full extent and also for this routine you're going to be needing um a mat a dumbbell or if you don't have a dumbbell you can use um a kettlebell Okay, it's just um some of the exercises today I'm going to be using a kettlebell because it's easier to use a kettlebell. I find it easier to use a kettlebell, but you can use a dumbbell if you don't have a kettlebell. Okay, so yeah, make sure you stretch and you warm up and uh, we'll get started. So we're going to start with some um, oblique exercises. So we're going to be doing some side oblique crunches, okay, and we're doing two sets of 12. So I'm on my first set. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One more and 12. Take a little break and you're going to do 12 more on the same side, okay? Then after that, we will do some front oblique crunches and I'll show you how those go. There we go. For this, make sure you're really lifting your shoulders off the ground, guys. Okay? So now we're going to do front oblique crunches, six on each side. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now move your arms to the other side and do six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Really focus on lifting your shoulders off the ground. You're going to turn to the other side. And you're going to do oblique crunches, side oblique crunches again. And again, remember, it's two sets of 12. So I'm still in my first set. Keep going. Remember, lift your shoulders off the ground. That's one set of 12 done. We've got another set of 12. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Really focus on lifting your shoulders off the ground, guys. And do the front oblique crunches again. Remember six on each side. Two, three, four, five, six. Other side. One, two. Three, four, five, six. Remember to lift your shoulders off the ground when you do this. We're going to do the same thing again. And this is the last time we do this, guys. Okay? So get ready. Remember 12? Really make sure that you lift your shoulders about off the ground, okay? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, and 12. Take a little rest, and we're going to do 12 more. And then after this, we do some front oblique crunches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay? Go on your back. Do some front front um, side crunches. Six to the right and six to the left. Go. Two, three, four, five, six. The other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And the turn and do on the other side. Some side oblique crunches again. Remember, twelve times two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Take a little rest. Take a breather. Have some water if you want. Try not to eat, drink too much, by the way, because you don't want to get cramps. On the second set, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, and 12. That's it for the oblique work. We're now going to move on to our next exercise. 
So up next, we are doing some weighted sit-ups. Now for this, if you've got um, a waist trainer, waist belt, and you feel comfortable to do this exercise with, with it on, feel free to put it on. It's just, um, I didn't put it on for the oblique because I feel like I it stops me from getting a full range of motion. But for this one, like it, it works fine. So I wear it when I do the weighted sit-ups. Okay, so grab a dumbbell, put it up, uh, raise it above your head, and you're going to sit up and use the dumbbell to push you up. And we're doing four sets of 12. We're still on our first set. Three, really sit up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. That's one set. We've got three more sets left to go. Get ready for the second set. Really try and make sure that the dumbbell is raised all the way above your head and keep you try and keep your arms as straight. What I also find that helps is when you come up and sit up, if you raise the dumbbell slightly above your head, it helps you move do a proper like sit up. Pro it helps you proper sit up. So I'm on my second set. I'm almost done. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Remember, four sets of 12, and we are on our second set. After this, we only have two more sets left to do. Push yourself. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. One last set left to do. Keep going, guys. Get ready for the third set. Get ready. We're on our third set. Remember, 12, 2, 3, really sit up, 4, 5. If you're struggling, do it slower than I am, okay? But really push yourself. Because remember, this is our last uh, routine in this um, workout challenge. So you really want to finish strong. Keep pushing, keep pushing. We are almost there. A couple more. That's the third set done. We're going to move on to our final set. Remember, 12, only 12 left, and that's it. Take a little rest if you need one. We're going to move on to our final set of 12. Raise the dumbbell above your head and push. One, two, finish strong. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Keep going, guys. Ten. Two more. Two more. That's it. Eleven. One more. Only one. And twelve. Yay. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. So that's it with the weighted sit-ups. Up next, we have some seated crunches. And so you're going to sit, pull up your dumbbell down, raise your legs out straight. You're going to bring them to the middle and push them out. And we're doing two sets of 12. When you bring them out, make sure they're as straight as possible. Okay? And really bring your upper body and your legs to meet in the middle. So that's one set done. We're going to do 12 more and that's it. Take a little rest if you need to, but quickly try and move quickly between the sets, guys. One last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Congratulations. We're moving on to our next exercise. 
So up next, we have some V-leg circles. So grab your dumbbell or your kettlebell, whichever one you have. Place it on top of your lower abs. You're going to raise your legs up and make circles. And that's one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. See, that's one set, and we're gonna do that again three more times. Keep your shoulder. Try and keep your shoulders off just up slightly above the ground. Okay. So we've got three sets left to do. One, two, three, four, five. Remember big circle, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. When you bring your legs up to, to do the circle, Try and bring them up as high up as you can, okay? Really make those circles big. And this is targeting our lower ab muscles. So again, if you struggle like lower belly fat, this is going to help. Third set. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One last set left to do, and that'll be it, guys. We are now on our final set. Remember, big circles, and we're doing twelve. Okay? Get ready, go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, we're move, gonna move on to our next exercise, which will be some lateral reverse crunches. So get rid of the dumbbell or the kettlebell if you're using that so for the lateral reverse crunches we're going to be doing four sets of 12 so we're doing six on each side so that's two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve okay we're gonna do Three sets more of 12. And remember, you're going to go in on six on each side. Get ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Two more sets left to do, and that'll be it. Again, if you find it uncomfortable to wear the, your waist belt or your waist trainer, feel free to take it off. Like, I took mine off because I feel like I wasn't getting enough range of, emotion, uh, of motion, okay? So two more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ten eleven and twelve remember six on each side one last set of twelve left to do get ready one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, and 12. So that's it for the lateral reverse crunches. We're now going to be doing some alternate hand-to-toe touches. 
So for this, we're doing four sets of 12 on each side. So that's one. So knee and toe, that's two knee and toe, that's three knee and toe, that's four knee and toe, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay? Now do the same on the other side and that will be one set. One and two and three and four and five and six halfway there and seven and eight and nine and ten and 11 and 12. That's one set done. We've got three more sets left to do and remember 12 on each side. Okay, so get ready. And when you come up, we're now on the second set. When, you, when your knee and your elbow come up, please make sure that they touch, okay? And also the same for your hand and your toes, make sure that they actually touch. Keep going, we are halfway, almost halfway through the second set. Remember, 12 on each side. Keep going, keep going. Almost there. Gonna switch over to the other side. After this, two sets would have been done, okay? Get ready. One. And two. And three. And four and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten, and eleven, and twelve. That's two sets done, two more sets left to do, and that'll be it. Get ready guys, last two sets, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten, two more, and eleven, and 12. Same on the other side. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and 8 and 9 and 10, two more, 11, and 12. One more set left to do on both sides, and that's it, that will be done. We'll be done with this routine, actually. That's it, okay? So really push yourself. Take a little break if you need to, but remember, we need to finish strong, okay? 12 more on each side, and that'll be it, guys. Get ready? One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten, eleven, one more and 12. The other side. One. And two. And three. And four. And five. 
and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, one more, and twelve. That's it. That's officially it for this routine. And that's our last up workout for this workout series completed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. And I hope you give this video a thumbs up if you finish this routine. Also, please make sure you're subscribed if you haven't done so already. And please don't forget to cool down. Do a little stretch so to make sure that you aren't too sore. And also, if you want that six pack, uh, you know, those six pack abs, washboard abs, please make sure that you're watching your diet because none of this work is gonna help if you got, you know, if, if you're eating like a, a diet full of sugar and all those in super like processed foods and full of fat, you know, it's just not gonna work out. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye, my loves.